It's giving bumblebee. This is my graveyard of makeup. Why are you so long? So you haven't drank enough water, you little dehydrated person. Steak. You know what I mean? Steak. Like a little gremlin just working on my computer. Reese, did you eat toilet paper again? It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Right. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm franchise. You are winner, Julia Renee. Good morning guys! Welcome back to another episode of the Prep Diary series. In today's video, we are going to be spending the day together. So I'm going to show you what a day in the life looks like for me when I am cutting. Every day typically looks the same, except today is actually a high carb day. And in my previous video, if you haven't watched it yet, I, sh I showed you what a whole day looks like with my high carb meals and they're so delicious. So if you haven't watched that, go check it out. And if you're new here, Welcome to the Prep Diaries series. Make sure that you're subscribed before you leave and we're getting ready to go and do some fasted cardio. We still have 40 minutes of fasted cardio steady state three times a week so we're getting ready to go and do that but my coach also hinted that my plan is going to change this week so we'll see. So let's go get that done. Okay guys, we're done with cardio. It was relatively easy. It actually kind of went by fast. Like, you know, there's some days where you're gonna do cardio and it's just like a pain, you know, than others. And there's so many things, you know, that have to do with that. You know, I always find that when like I'm sore, it's usually like later in the week, you know, I've already done a lot of training sessions. I've already done a lot of cardio sessions. So not everyone is going to be like easy like today's, but it was so yay. We're going to go home and we're going to make some breakfast. Like I am already like my stomach is growling and it's 730 AM. <laughs> so yeah. And I'm going to update you guys to, um, about how the carb cycling is going and like the increase in carbs because I'm absolutely loving it. And last night I was telling Zach while we were on the couch and we were like getting ready for bed. I was like, you know what my favorite thing about the morning is? And he's like, what? And I was like, getting to eat my French toast. <laughs> like I, at night, I like look forward to it in the morning and I'm so excited because today, is a higher carb day so I get to add like more carbs to it which is always fun so let's go home and make some brekkie such a dark and gloomy day today. It's like raining outside and it's gross. So let's take a bite of the greatest thing that ever happened to my life. <laughs> so good. Buff coffee. You already know. 
Mm. This is the iced frappuccino flavor and it's super good. I already burned through my creamy coffee flavor and that was next on the roster. Just as good, so delish. So on my high carb days, the only difference with like my morning meal is that, so I could have an additional slice of French toast if I want to, so I could have four slices, but I I did that one day so that I could hit my carbs and it was like a little bit too heavy of a breakfast. So what I did is I scrapped that, only did three slices and then added some bananas on top instead and it doesn't sit as heavy and it makes it so much so delicious so what I, that's what i love about the french toast like there's so many things that you could do to it and i love it mm. okay so we are showered we are getting ready for the day i makeup makeup and product update so sephora is actually having a sale um from april 5th to the I think it's the 15th or 9th through the 15th. It depends on like uh, what kind of member you are, if you're like a beauty insider or rouge or whatever. So there's a, like a list of things that I want to get like when I have the sale, like some things that I want to restock. So I was thinking about doing a video with the things that I get. Let me know if that's something that you guys want to see in the comments below of some stuff that I've wanted to try and some stuff that I want to restock. Like for example, I'm almost out of my Fenty Skin Toner. I bought this such a long time ago and I still have some left. Like it goes, a little bit goes such a long way, but I want to like restock it before I completely run out. I am also trying a new foundation. That's what you see on my skin today. Um, I got a little tester from Sephora. It's the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation in the color 300 Neutral. I usually get like a neutral undertone. It always just like works best for me, but it is like, it's a stick foundation. And so it's like really, really thick. So she had to like scrape it out and put it in this little tester. Can you see it? You can't see it, but yeah, I'm trying it out. It's definitely like super full coverage because the other two that I also use are the NARS Soft Matte Foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way. You know me, I just like, I just like trying new things, even if the thing that I have is working fine. <laughs> I just get like excited. I wanted to test it first before I bought it on the sale. Also, I switched over to using this Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. So I was, let me grab it. Let's go into my makeup, extra makeup drawer. So I was using this one, the Power Grip Plus Niacinamide. So these are the two. I was using this one, but the nice, I think the niacinamide in it was causing, it was causing my makeup. Also, what is this? Oh my God, this is a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I should try this today. <laughs> Sometimes I look in here and I'm like, I also have like a Patrick Ta bronzer. I didn't like that very much. Anyways, this is my graveyard of makeup. But I bought this one instead. And the, the red one, when I would go to the gym, my face would melt. Like it would start melting immediately, even if I wasn't really sweating that much. And I think it's because of the ni niacinamide in it. So I bought this one instead, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup Primer. And I've used the Milk Makeup Primer and I love that one. It has such a gripping power, power to it so that your makeup will actually like stick to it. And now I've been using the blue one and it's actually so much better. Like my, my, my skin doesn't start getting all soggy and melty. And I've been adding the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener, uh, the Positive Light Eye Brightener back into my routine. And I was like, why did I stop doing this? So I'll do this first and it already provides like a little bit of coverage, but since I have such dark under eye circles, I do this first and then I go in with my concealer. I'm still loving the One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Concealer and the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer, these two. Ride or die. 
but who knows? Maybe I'll find another one. Makeup is done. Mm. 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 Actually, I think it looks better without the light. Got a little hoops on. Now we gotta start some work for the day. Okay guys, so I'm working on an outline for the podcast tomorrow because today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, and we film the podcast on Wednesdays. So I'm doing like an outline for both of the episodes, just so we have like an idea of like the topics that we're chatting about. So we had this idea of doing an episode on the like most unhinged DMs that we get from men on Instagram. <laughs> Some of them were like really crazy, but we tried to make it like semi appropriate, so I'm just like combining like some of the ones that Kendall has got and that I have got and it's going to be an interesting episode. So by the time you watch this video, that one should be out. So make sure you go listen to it. We got meal number two, my little Sammy. We have two rice cakes, some turkey, lettuce, and I put a little slice of tomato. Oh, and there's avocado at the bottom. These are so delicious and I look forward to it every single day. So this is my meal number two. What are you looking at? <laughs> You're so cute. I scratch your little belly for you. I see your little, t no, I see your little teefies. Look at his skinny little leg. He sticks out his skinny little leg. <laughs> Why are you so long? You're like a little weenie dog. Okay, we're eating our pre-workout meal, which is Kodiak cakes, which is also one of my favorite meals. So good. I'm actually eating it a little bit early, like 30 minutes early, because I have two calls back to back, and then I have to like, right after that second call, I have to leave. Um, to make it to my chiropractor appointment ahead of time. So I'm eating now, I'm gonna mix my pre-workout and get into my workout, get, pack my workout bag so that I can just do those calls and then just like leap to my appointment. Cause then after my appointment, we gonna hit the gym. So we gotta be prepared ahead of time. Okay guys, so what do we do before we go to the gym? You fill your water jug because you haven't drank enough water, you little dehydrated person. Okay, we got our water and now we gotta mix the pre-workout. My two favorite flavors mixed into one. We have Buff Chick Pump. Sometimes that fridge doesn't close. Like I push it and it just like opens by itself. Buff Chick Pump Cherry Limeade, and then we have the pre-workout, and I'm literally almost out of it. Where have you gone? Pineapple Coconut Margarita flavor. Okay, we did one scoop of the pump, one scoop of the, let me do like a half a scoop of the pre. Hi, baby. Oh, this is a good place to stretch your back. Meow. I don't know what to wear. But every time that I don't know what to wear to the gym, I usually... Reese, did you eat toilet paper again? This is what Reese does. He goes into my bathroom and he'll go into the trash can. I call him dumpster diver because he goes into the trash can and he pulls out toilet paper and he nibbles on it. And look, there's more. Anywho, I'll probably just wear a onesie because when I don't know what to wear, that's always a good bet. So, I think this is my favorite onesie, the dark sport onesie. It's just like, it's so perfect. I'm just gonna wear this. Now we need to pick some shoes. It's giving bumblebee. Okay, this is the fit. Ooh, my legs are looking nice today. Ooh. And the shoes and the chain. 
I don't know, like every day, it depends. Like I have a different vibe every day. Like sometimes I'm feeling more like chill, sometimes more edgy, more girly. So I just like, I like play it by here. And today I was feeling edgy. For as long as I can remember, I've been searching to find who I am. So I did what everyone else told me to do. I went on a journey to fix myself. I did daily affirmations to fix my mindset, but I still didn't feel confident in who I was. I followed inspirational women to fix my motivation, but only felt envy and self-doubt. I changed my body to fix how I felt about myself, but I still disliked who I saw in the mirror. Until one day I thought, what if it's not about fixing myself? What if I accepted myself instead? I accept that I am enough, just as I am. I accept that I am unique, and that's where my beauty lies. I accept that I am powerful, and I create my dreams to become reality. And I want to show you how you can do the same. We have a lot more in common than we think. And I think that when we come together, especially us women, like there is magic in that. I literally feel like a brand new person. It opened another window for me and of, of accepting their love. This is the best group of women I've ever connected with. I'm so grateful for it. Okay guys, can you see me? We are on our way to the chiropractor and then we're gonna go to the gym and train legs. But what's new? So, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how carb cycling is going. So, I'm on my second second week officially of doing it. And the thing that I noticed for sure the first week was like my strength, like, whoa, increased so much in the gym. Like, it was crazy. And of course, it's like you're going to get more food. You're going to get, you know, you're going to have more fuel for your workouts. Oy, I already know that, you know, we know that. And it was just crazy. So when I did my first check-in with my coach, I was like, I'm feeling so strong. And he's like, the carb cycling is working because basically what we're doing is like, of course we have low days, mid days, and then the high carb days. So on the mid and the low carb days, you know, I'm down here. And then when we have the high carb days, I have them spread out enough in the week on Tuesday and Saturday where I have like a day where it spikes, you know, my calories and carbs, they spike and it like fuels me like into the, you know, week, which is kind of awesome. So I was feeling really, really good today. I am feeling a little bit more like bloated than normal. Um, not necessarily like maybe I should say the word is watery and if you're if you're a bodybuilder you know what watery means or maybe if you're not a bodybuilder you know what it means but it's basically like there's like a layer of like water like over your like muscle tone I don't know how to describe it but it basically like it's so that your lines don't show as much like the lines in your abs or like the lines on your legs so I feel a little bit of that like today I feel a little bit more watery but I still I'm really excited to see like if I still have as much strength as I did last week going but I have a feeling that I'm going to so I'm excited it's going good and what coach told me last week that I didn't get to tell you guys and a little, 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 little <laughs> that's sour when you increase like your calories like we're doing you rev up your metabolism that's why I was getting like really hungry and on my high carb days like I start getting even hungrier and hungrier because I'm burning through the calories so when we do that we bring we like rev our metabolism up here and then whenever we bring them down again 
usually a lot of like you'll you'll see a lot of weight loss you probably also will be hungry so I have a feeling on Thursday that's what's gonna happen he's gonna cut my calories lower again and we're not gonna have our high carb days which I'm sad about because it's like it's it's really time to push when you're seeing this we're 13 13 weeks out from our show that I haven't told you guys yet so it's it's time to it's time to start pushing so I have a feeling that we're gonna kind of do this throughout like we started our prep and we lost like seven pounds and then we rev up my metabolism a little bit and then we drop it down so I'm pumped I'm excited Dr. Jacques going to fix me. Let's fix you. Okay. We are done at the chiropractor. I always feel like such an adult when I go to the chiropractor. <laughs> it's like such an adult thing to do. You're like, my body hurts, so I'm gonna go to the chiropractor. But for real, if you guys haven't gone to the chiropractor, like it'll save you. Especially like if you're you, you're lifting regularly and you're like training legs a lot, like it's a lot of pressure on your body. Like we're holding crap on our bodies. And I know like even when I'm like at the gym, if I'm not at the gym, I'm at home and I'm working at my desk and I'm always like like a little gremlin just working in my computer. So my neck will always be like, huh? and then when I leave, it's like instantly like, Whew. it's just wild. But yeah, Dr. Jacques is amazing. His Instagram will, he, it would have, Ian would have popped it up on the camera because Ian's the best. Is my makeup coming off? It better not be. It is so humid today and gross. And uh, the, mm, the gym is outside and it's gonna be a rough one, I have a feeling. Oh crap. You know what I freaking forgot? I forgot my mic. I forgot my talky talk mic. I was going to like talk through the workout with you guys. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible excuse for a YouTuber. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna make it work. You're still gonna get the whole workout. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I know you was worrying. I know. Anywho, let's go to the gym. I feel like, I feel, I feel ready. Let's go. And also, when you guys are seeing this, we, when you got, when you guys are seeing this, it is like the week of the Know Your Power Retreat. Like it is only like a couple days away. The Know Your Power Retreat starts the 19th and ends on the 21st. So if you haven't grabbed your ticket, I know that like, Grabbing your ticket this last minute means that you have to like grab your flights and your hotel But it also might just be easier if you live in Texas already to just like drive to Austin, but I Would love to meet you. I would love for you to be there. It's gonna be the most incredible experience We have so many people like it is crazy how many like companies are wanting to sponsor the event and we're not even asking like they just like stand by like what we're doing so much and like what our purpose is and what our vision is for the Know Your Power women's retreats that like Buff Chick sent over like a ton of stuff for us to like serve. They sent over cases of for us to serve Buff Coffee at breakfast because all of the food's taken care of. So we're gonna set it next to the food so people can make their Buff Coffee. And tons of like of almost an entire like more than a sup more than a whole supplement stack because we do giveaways like during like the breaks and the lunch periods we just like pick people at random and give them stuff we also have angel competitions bikinis is like sponsoring and they're they're sending every single girl two different things we also have an energy drink company that is like insane they're sending stuff like it's just crazy how many people are like wanting to like help and they like support the vision and they're wanting to help so it's going to be it's going to be incredible and i can't wait so uh make sure you grab your tickets down in the description it will also be pinned in the comments and right now we're doing a 25 percent off flash sale so if you just use code power 25 at checkout you get your discount 
So let's go train some legs. Okay guys, to start off this leg day, we are going to do a glute focus split squat. We are going to do three sets of 10 on each leg. So for this, what you're gonna wanna do is set yourself up in a way where your foot is a little bit farther forward and you're going to move in like an escalator motion. So if we're trying to target our quads, we're gonna move like an elevator up and down. And if we're trying to target our glutes, we're gonna move like an escalator. So leaning our torso forward and coming down and then back up like an escalator. So we did three sets of 10 on each leg. And then next we're gonna move into a squat motion. So what I did here is my feet were shoulder width apart and then I did a slight turn out with them. And I did four sets of anywhere between eight and 12. So on this, I was able to gradually increase the weight. First I hit about 12 reps, then I hit about 10 and I ended up getting to my heaviest, which was about eight reps. So. After this, we're going to move into hip thrusts and we're gonna do about three sets of 10 here. For these, I started actually decreasing the amount of weight that I was doing because I found myself going a little bit too heavy and then I didn't have any mind to muscle connection. So I'm still keeping my feet neutral here and then I'm slightly turning my toes out so that I can target a little bit more of my upper glute. After this, we're going to move into a superset of leg curls and then tie in RDLs. So for the leg curls, we're doing three sets of 12 with a three second negative. So what that means is on my way up, as the weight is coming up, I am going to count one, two, three, then come and squeeze back down. All of the reps are going to be done like that. After you do that 12, then you're going to immediately go into the tie in RDLs. For these, since I'm short, I like to add a little platform so that I have more range of motion. You're gonna start at your knees and you're gonna slide the weight down really close to your shins. And then at your feet, you're gonna push it over your feet, pause there, feel the stretch, and then come up the same way by pulling the weight in again towards your shins. And that's one rep. So that's a super set of leg curls and tie in RDLs. Leg curls are 12 reps and the tie in RDLs are about 15 reps. We're in the posing room, guys. I have been coming to this gym for a while now, and I had no idea they had a posing room. Like, look how teeny tiny it is. Like, this is how big it is. And it's super humid today outside. Literally, my makeup had no chance. It's like patchy and everything. No chance. No chance. I told you guys, I told you I was gonna melt, and I melted. It's so humid. But there's like a ton of AC in here and it feels so good. So we're gonna practice a little bit of posing. I brought my, I'm uh, starting to implement that. I do need to book some posing sessions with my posing coach since we're, you know, we're close to the show. I already have like my routine down, but there's a couple of things that I was working on and I wanted to show them to you to see what you were, what you guys think. Because I have a posing routine, but like, I don't, I don't know, it's been like a year and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I want to do something new. I've got a perfect little compartment on this side for my shoes. These are my posing shoes only. And I have certain shoes that are my stage shoes that I only wear when I compete. Uh, they're still pretty broken in because you don't want to you don't want to compete on like shoes that aren't broken in because then it's going to be the worst. I hope you guys can hear me okay because like we're kind of away from the music but not really so. Okay, whoa. So when I start my routine, this is how I'm entering. I have my hair on this side and then I'm doing like, a, there's barely any room for me to do this, but I'm entering it on the side and I do like a little walk, walk, and then I spin, whip the hair to the other side. So the hair starts on my right shoulder and ends up on my left. So I do like walk, walk, big spin here, pause, and then I open up to the front pose. But something I was practicing while in between sets was I was doing, I was trying to do something like this where I come like here and my whole hand comes here, comes around 
up, and then I like flick the hair down, and then I walk. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I could do both in the routine, so maybe I can start here and do the twist, pop, and then open up here, or twist, uh, here, here, something like that. I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's hard to, to come in and turn and mush those two moves together to do the turn and go like this. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, but I've just been practicing it a little bit. Here, flip the hair down. Okay, I'll turn it down so you can hear me. But we're done with our workout. We burned so many calories. We did so well. I felt very, very strong, very strong. And it was awesome. Uh, I was doing my posing and like sometimes when you're posing, like it is just fun to like go in and like see just what your body does, you know, like put on your favorite playlist and just see like just it's 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 a form of like dancing it's just you're showing your muscles off you know and I was trying so hard to like get that move down and I was doing it over and over and over again and then I got like way too in my head and I was like okay I think it's time to stop because then I was like I wasn't in flow and one thing that I always teach my posing clients is like with the more that you're thinking about it the you could tell that it's just it's just not as like confident it's not in flow you know when you see like amazing posers on stage like the olympians and stuff like they're just like in their element they're in flow one move goes to the next and there's moments that i always have during my prep where i'm like forcing myself to like be perfect and you know nothing is like that perfection you know doesn't exist <laughs> and you know we when we spend so much time trying to obtain perfect we are wasting so much time on like being present and being in reality because we're so focused on like having the perfect job, having the perfect life, having the perfect workout, you know, eating the perfect foods, all of those things that we're like just living on our heads so much. And I constantly get mad at myself for, for not being perfect. And I wanted to read something to you guys because it's so relevant. Um, Where's my phone? So in our um, Know Your Power one-on-one -on -one coaching program, we have a, oh no, where's my phone? Oh, found it. We have a little forum that the all the girls that are in the program are in. And this morning, like this topic was weighing really heavy on my mind and every day I'll post in there like something, you know, motivational or like um, meal ideas, workout ideas, like things like that. And the thing that I posted in there today says this, and I wanted to read it to you guys. Everybody in the, in the forum is eating the French toast. Here's another person. I don't think this is French toast, but they like share their recipes and stuff. It's, hold on. The pursuit of perfection is holding you back. We don't expect others around us to be perfect, so why do we expect it of ourselves? We spend so much time doing, striving, achieving, and an endless quest to be perfect. Then we miss out on being in each moment, where we are, as we are. Perfection isn't attainable or authentic. If we were perfect, there, there would be no need for growth. We learn through mistakes, missteps, and experimentation. And I love that because if if we were perfect we wouldn't there would be no need for us to grow you know what i mean there would be no need for us to get better you know get stronger in the gym have a better relationship with ourselves with the people around us be kind there wouldn't be no need to because you're already perfect you know what i mean so i hope that that resonates with you comment down below if it did or if you're struggling with like the perfectionism of it and I, I do too. Like I noticed myself doing that with my posing. I was like, I gotta be perfect. I gotta do it perfect. And then once I realized that I was doing that, I was like, okay, 
We don't need to have it perfect. You know, I can't expect myself to get this move down the first time that I try it, you know? And I just took a step back and was like, the act of me practicing and doing it and experimenting is growth. So I know I'm blabbering on and on, but you guys like my blabs. But yeah, that was one of the posts that I made for the girls in the forum this morning. Cause um, a lot of us struggle with perfectionism. So I, I get it, girl. Okay, let's go home and eat some food. Do you want dinner? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Who put a trampoline under you? <laughs> you want dinner? You want dinner? <laughs> okay, you want dinner, easy boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay, okay. Okay, it's time to eat. Okay, wait. Yes, you have to be patient. Wait. No. Wait, 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 go ahead. This is quickly becoming my favorite meal. White rice, cabbage, steak, like it's just after my workout like i always want something that's like like i want like a hearty meal like i want veggies rice what else is in it steak you know what i mean steak mm. so good i'm gonna scarf this down it's 30 minutes until we have our a weekly mindset call with our girls in the one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So, okay, eat this. Go upstairs, take a shower, shower, come back upstairs, be ready for the call. So, let's scarf it. Mm -mm. Hey guys. Okay. Happy Tuesday. Congratulations on another amazing week. You guys have been crushing it in the forum and on all of your things. I know that we're still kind of like getting in the swing of things. I hear, I see a lot of people in the forum, like I'm still trying to hit my macros, still trying to get in the swing of things. And you know, that's why we start this challenge this way because a lot of this journey is just about like Consistency, you know, consistency, getting in the routine of things, adopting new habits, and that takes a lot of effort. And you guys are crushing it. Ugh. I am so irritated with whatever this is right here not going away. Like, it has been weeks and it's so annoying. I don't, like, no matter what I do, it won't go away. It's okay. One of my new favorites is this from The Ordinary. It comes out like pink. Look, it's super cool. It's supposed to protect like your skin barrier. Ugh, it feels so good. So I usually do like my serums and like thinner things first. And then when like right before bed, like Zach and I have already hung out, we watched a little show, I've eaten my last meal. When we come upstairs to go to bed, then I'll put like a thicker moisturizer on and an oil because like if I'm laying on the couch, like I try not to mess up my skincare, but it's gonna happen. Okay guys, I am going to sign off for the day. I am going to chill, eat my Greek yogurt, and we're gonna go nighty night. But I love you all so much, and you are more powerful than you think. Bye. <laughs>